These are the eight men who want to become the next Iranian president. In contrast to the last election, none of them is considered to be particularly reformist. The one with perhaps the least conservative outlook is this man, Mohammad Reza Aref. He highlighted the shortcomings in the current government's policies, which he considers to be too rigid. Over the past eight years, the country has been run by radical conservatives and other parties have been pulled out. The second is the presence of military figures in economic affairs, and there is not enough space for the private sector. The third problem is that we cannot use the privilege of having relations with other countries. We should have collective wisdom. The country cannot be run by just one party. The candidate considered to be among the favorites of the ruling elite in Iran is this man, Saeed Jalili. He is the secretary of the Supreme National Security Council and his country's chief negotiator on nuclear issues. We need to adopt the correct principles for the economy based on our revolutionary principles. In that way, we can make the economy work for the 75 million people in our country. There should be coordination in the government. The only independent candidate in the contest took a hard line. Mohammad Garazi was a minister in the 1980s. He blamed Iran's economic troubles on corruption in the public sector. The government needs to remove its hands from the pockets of people. Our currency has devalued so much. This means the poor are getting poorer. The hands of those doing that should be cut off. It's hard to know how most Iranians will react to this first debate. But it's certain that the effect of economic sanctions on their country is being felt. None of the candidates spoke in detail in this debate about the Arab awakening and its cultural impact in Iran. They will have the chance to do that in the second of the three debates next week. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera.